Climate Resilience and Desertification, Building Adaptive Systems Title, Climate Resilience and Desertification, Building Adaptive Systems Introduction As the global climate continues to change at an alarming rate, the phenomenon of desertification poses a significant threat to our environment, economies, and livelihoods. Desertification refers to T. He degradation of land in arid, semi-arid, and dry subhumid regions, often due to human activities and climate variations. The expansion of desert areas impacts ecosystems, increases food insecurity, and heightens the vulnerability of communities already struggling with limited resources. To address this pressing issue, the concept of climate resilience and the development of adaptive systems H have emerged as crucial strategies to mitigate the impacts of desertification. This article will explore the importance of climate resilience in combating desertification and discuss the strategies F. or building adaptive systems towards a more sustainable future. Understanding Desertification and Its Impacts Desertification occurs when the delicate balance of arid and semi-arid ecosystems is disrupted, resulting in the degradation of soil, loss of biodiversity, and reduced water availability. The causes of desertification are multifaceted, including deforestation, overgrazing, improper irrigation practices, and climate change-induced droughts. This phenomenon is particularly troubling as it directly affects the livelihoods of millions of people who depend on these vulnerable ecosystems for agriculture, water, and energy resources. Desertification exacerbates poverty, increases displacement, and even contributes to conflict in some regions, making it a complex issue that demands urgent attention. Key Principles of Climate Resilience Climate resilience refers to the ability of individuals, communities, and ecosystems to withstand, adapt, and recover from the impacts of climate change. Building climate resilience plays a vital role. E in combating desertification by enhancing the capacity of ecosystems to absorb shocks, reducing vulnerability, and promoting sustainable development. The key principles of climate resilience include E. 1. Diversification, by diversifying livelihood options and agricultural practices, communities can reduce their dependence on a single resource, making them more resilient to climate shocks. 2. Adaptive governance, effective governance structures that incorporate local knowledge and participatory decision-making processes enable communities to respond proactively to climate challenges. Building Adaptive Systems to enhance climate resilience and combat desertification, it is crucial to build adaptive systems that can effectively respond and recover from climate-related shocks. Here are some strategies that see and help in this process. 1. Research and monitoring. Comprehensive research and monitoring systems are essential to understand the causes and impacts of desertification. This knowledge can inform effective strategies and pro- Active Interventions to Combat Land Degradation 2. Capacity Development Investing in education and training programs that enhance the knowledge and skills of communities and key stakeholders is crucial to building adaptive systems. This includes Promoting sustainable land management practices, water conservation techniques, and climate-smart agricultural methods. 3. Early Warning Systems Developing robust early warning systems can help communities anticipate and respond to climate-related risks, including droughts and dust storms. These systems ensure timely actions, such as water rationing, reforestation, and mitigation measures. Climate resilience and desertification are pressing issues that require immediate attention in order to mitigate the adverse effects they have on the environment, economies, and human livelihoods. In this article, 
we will explore the importance of climate resilience in addressing desertification and discuss various strategies for building adaptive systems. Desertification occurs when the delicate balance of arid and semi-arid ecosystems is disturbed, leading to soil degradation, loss of biodiversity, and reduced water availability. The Causes of Desert Avocation are diverse, including deforestation, overgrazing, improper irrigation practices, and climate change-induced droughts. This phenomenon has a direct impact on the livelihoods of millions of people who rely on these vulnerable ecosystems for agriculture, water, and energy resources. Desertification exacerbates poverty, displacement, and even contributes to conflict in some regions, Macon. Gee, it a complex issue that requires urgent attention. There are several key principles of climate resilience that are crucial in addressing desertification. Firstly, diversification is important as it reduces the dependence of communities on a single re. Source, making them more resilient to climate shocks. Secondly, adaptive governance, which incorporates local knowledge and participatory decision-making processes, enables communities to proactively respond to climate challenges. Building adaptive systems is crucial for enhancing climate resilience and combating desertification. This involves implementing strategies that can effectively respond and recover from climate-relate. D-shocks. Research and monitoring systems are essential in understanding the causes and impacts of desertification, which can inform effective strategies and proactive interventions to combat land degradation. Investing in education and training programs that enhance the knowledge and skills of communities and key stakeholders is also important in building adaptive systems. This includes promoting in sustainable land management practices, water conservation techniques, and climate-smart agricultural methods. Developing robust early warning systems is another strategy that enables communities to anticipate and respond to climate-related risks such as droughts and dust storms. These systems ensure timely actions, including water rationing, reforestation, and mitigation measures. Encouraging sustainable land and water management practices, such as agroforestry, terracing, and crop rotation, can prevent tea soil erosion, conserve water resources, and regenerate degraded land. Climate resilience and desertification are pressing issues that require immediate attention in order to mitigate the adverse effects they have on the environment, economies, and human livelihoods. In this article, we will explore the importance of climate resilience in addressing desertification and discuss various strategies for building adaptive systems. Desertification occurs when the delicate balance of arid and semi-arid ecosystems is disturbed, leading to soil degradation, loss of biodiversity, and reduced water availability. The Causes of Desert Avocation are diverse, including deforestation, overgrazing, improper irrigation practices, and climate change-induced droughts. This phenomenon has a direct impact on the livelihoods of millions of people who rely on these vulnerable ecosystems for agriculture, water, and energy resources. Desertification exacerbates poverty, displacement, and even contributes to conflict in some regions, Macon. Gee, it a complex issue that requires urgent attention. There are several key principles of climate resilience that are crucial in addressing desertification. Firstly, diversification is important as it reduces the dependence of communities on a single re. Source, making them more resilient to climate shocks. Secondly, adaptive governance, which incorporates local knowledge and participatory decision-making processes, enables communities to proactively respond to climate challenges. Building adaptive systems is crucial for enhancing climate resilience and combating desertification. This involves implementing strategies that can effectively respond and recover from climate-relate. D-shocks Research and monitoring systems are essential in understanding the causes and impacts of desertification, which can inform effective strategies and proactive interventions to combat land 
Predation. Investing in education and training programs that enhance the knowledge and skills of communities and key stakeholders is also important in building adaptive systems. This includes promoting in sustainable land management practices, water conservation techniques, and climate smart agricultural methods. Developing robust early warning systems is another strategy that enables communities to anticipate and respond to climate related risks, such as droughts and dust storms. These systems ensure timely actions, including water rationing, reforestation, and mitigation measures. Encouraging sustainable land and water management practices, such as agroforestry, terracing, and crop rotation, can prevent T-soil erosion, conserve water resources, and regenerate degraded land.